sejahtera para pendengar. Apa khabar semua di sana? Saya Cikgu Wiji bersama dengan anda dan bersama dengan sekumpulan pelajar saya yang telah pun menduduki peperiksaan kertas matematik dan juga bahasa Melayu untuk peperiksaan PT3 tahun 2017 pagi tadi. Hari ini mereka bersama dengan saya untuk menyediakan diri bagi menghadapi kertas sains dan juga bahasa Inggeris besok. Para pendengar, mereka telah pun menghadiri satu program khas di Pusat Disandarkan semalam bersama dengan saya dan juga Cikgu Rani di mana Cikgu Rani telah pun membantu para pelajar ini untuk menyediakan diri mereka bagi menghadapi kertas Bahasa Melayu PT3. Apa yang telah diramalkan oleh Cikgu Rani semalam lebih kurang 80 hingga 85 peratus dari persoalan tepat keluar hari ini untuk kertas Bahasa Melayu PT3 2017 yang sebenar. Sekarang mari kita dengar daripada mulut pelajar ini sendiri apa yang telah saya bimbing mereka semalam untuk menyediakan diri mereka bagi menghadapi kertas matematik PT3 yang telah pun membantu dan yang telah keluar hari ini. Dipersilakan Joshua berkongsi sedikit. Hello, my name is Joshua Ryan. I'm from section 3 Bandar Kinara. Uh, yesterday teacher Vijay taught me about fraction which is a keyword question and today the same thing came out but just in different numbers. And I could answer it well, while some of my friends couldn't answer it because they didn't know the format to do it. Well done. So that gave you confidence because yesterday we did a similar question, am I right? Yes. So that allowed you to answer the question with full confidence. Yes. Good for you. Next. Hi, my name is Parmeshwar. I'm from SMK Banda Uttama Dhamma Sada Dua. Yesterday, uh, Vijay sir gave me some questions about maths, which the topic came on at my exam, which is Pythagoras theorem trigonometry and uh, indices. I'm very happy that I can answer the questions. In fact, yesterday, Pramesh, I did go through with you Pythagoras theorem. I told you how to apply it. Yes. And also I taught you about trigonometry, went through it, am I right? And we did a couple of questions on that. Yes. Also on indices, right? Yes. So you feel that that actually gave you confidence to answer the paper today. Yes, sir. Good for you. Thank you, sir. Kiran? Hello, my name is Kiran. I'm from SMK Daman Sarajaya. And yesterday, um, Sir taught me how to answer questions in a smart way, in a way that they won't directly ask you because they're trying to trick you and you can very easily lose marks. So because I was careful and he kept emphasizing on writing our units and keep checking each step we do and we have to make sure that our working is all shown, I was very careful and precise with everything I did. Also, he taught us a fraction question which is considered kebat, which I could do very well today with all the working steps correctly as just as he taught me. Also, he gave um, tips on a scale drawing question yesterday saying that they won't directly ask it and they will try to confuse you by putting a diagram and all that and that's exactly what they did but I wasn't tricked thanks to him. So I'm very happy because if I didn't learn all this from him, I would have lost a lot of marks. Well done, Kiran. I'm very glad that I was able to help you. So, apa yang telah diperkatakan oleh Kiran itu amat benar. Saya semalam, sebenarnya semalam tekankan berkenaan dengan persediaan untuk peperiksaan matematik PD3. Tunjukkan unit, tunjukkan segala jalan kerja. Jangan tertipu dengan cara mereka menanya, fokus dan keluarkan maklumat yang dinyatakan dalam soalan. Betul, Kiran? Yes. Dan kamu telah menggunakan apa yang cikgu telah pun ajar kamu. Dan hari ini kamu telah pun membuat kertas tersebut dengan mudah. Menjawab soalan-soalan dalam kertas tersebut. Yeah. Terutamanya untuk soalan pecahan. Yes. Soalan pecahan tersebut memang soalan yang sukar. Tetapi kamu telah pun menggunakan, mengaplikasikan apa yang cikgu ajar untuk menjawab. Yeah. Well done. Very good for you. Thank you. Ishwar? Hi folks. My name is Ishwar here. I'm from S SMK ACS. I've learned from Chegu Vijay. He's a pro on math and science actually. In, in maths today, in the exam for PT3, I said on, his questions are very more co compared to same as the PT3's question. I get the help from him, I wrote on PT3, I confirm I get A, and I've learned more from Sir Vijay, like his patience, his kindness to me, helped me a lot on exam. Thank you, sir. That's all. Okay. Ishwar, I'm very happy to help you. You're from ACS Clang, right? Yes, sir. So, you found that what I gave you, the points, the question that we did yesterday helped you a lot. Yeah. Now, yesterday, just for the benefit of our audience, you were with me about three hours, am I right? I think for so. the maths alone, yeah. right? And in that three hours, we have done almost about 150 to 160 questions. Correct, our students? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Alright, and if you were at home on your own, do you think you would have done that much of question? No. 
No, but that practice actually has helped you because we have done all different varied types of questions and we have discussed the concepts which has helped you tremendously today. Am I right? Yes. Yep. Thank you. Thank Next. Thanks, uh, Vishnu. Um, hello, my name is Vishnu Prasad from St. John's Institution, Kolumbo. The subject that Mr. Vijay taught us, taught me, came out was Pythagoras theorem, trigonometry, indices, and also how to find the area of sector. That's all. It was very easy for me to answer the questions. Mm. Yes, I did remember Vishnu, the area of sector. I repeated that many times and I gave you different type of question on that, correct? Yes. And that question came out today? Yes. Well done. And I also remember the volume for code. Also, I discussed yesterday, I specified on the formula to be used. And that question came out today, correct? Yes. Good for you. I'm so happy. Nayani? Hi everyone, I'm from SMK Subang Utama. Um, Yesterday, uh, Mr. Vijay had three hours of math class with us. We almost have done 200 questions together. Yesterday, uh, there was one question I had, I was confused on. It was tri trigonometry. The question was how to find the angle of, to find the degree of that angle. The similar question came out today. And I was so happy that I can solve it was almost two to three marks for that question. Uh, not only that, Mr. Vijay went through all the formulas with us yesterday. Uh, he went through acceler ac acceleration. Uh, he went to uh, distance, speed, and time. All this. Trust me or not, if he doesn't go through with me with the formula, I think I would get a C, which is a failure to me in my exam. I'm very sure I'll get an A for him and I'll give it to him. Thank you, Daddy, for the confidence and I'm glad that I was able to help you. Now, did any question on acceleration, distance and also speed come out today? Yes, teacher. Came out yes. and you were able to apply. Yep. Very good. And I still remember yesterday, you are the one who asked me the trigonometric question, right? Yes. And I did explain to you on the what, how to apply the sine, cos and tangent. Yes. And that question exactly came out today? Yes. Good for you. And teacher, one more. You know, you have to find the uh, possible values of uh, integers between the two simultaneous simultaneous inequality. I whenever we are doing the test, I always stuck in this question. Today I solve it, teacher. Very good. And I remember you have been asking that yesterday you asked me a question, and previously in class you also asked me a couple of questions on that. I asked more than four and five times. Exactly. And that question came out today. I solved it. Very good. Good for you. Tilak. Okay, hi guys, I'm Tilak from SMV Kapong. The main thing I want to emphasize for yesterday's maths paper was the trigonometry and ratio. I got these two questions and I felt confusing, but sirs, the way sir taught me and the simple formulas really helped me a lot. So question on ratio came out? Yes. And you were able to answer that? Yes sir. Well done and good for you. In fact, ratio is a very confusing question. I think yesterday we did about two or three questions on ratio from the mistake. True, sir. And that helped you. Yes. Well done, Dilak. Good for you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, hi, I am Priya from SMK Desu Sedang. Uh, for me, the highlight in my maths paper is the Pratos. As if sir didn't teach me, I will definitely put the Pratos for the Peningkatan will be, uh, for example, x over 100 times with 20. But after sir taught me, uh, I get to know that actually it should be 120, not we shouldn't only take 20 percentage. And when I do that question, I really remember sir, even I first came, uh, I was the first to came and I told sir that when I was doing the paper, I remember him and I do the percentage question. Not only the percentage, but other um, questions also uh, actually helped me because sir already t uh, taught me yesterday. Thank you Priya, well done. Yes, para pendengar. Saya telah pun membimbing para pelajar sehingga mereka masuk dalam medan pemeriksaan mereka boleh mengingati wajah muka saya. Saya amat terharu. Ini apa yang kami lakukan setiap tahun di pusat perbincangan. Kami tidak percaya dan yakin terhadap soalan bocor. Apa yang kami berikan kepada pelajar kami bukan soalan bocor. Ia merupakan soalan ramalan di mana lebih kurang kami tahu apa untuk diduga untuk keluar. Umpamanya saya mengajar matematik untuk 29 tahun. Cikgu Rani mengajar Mata pelajaran bahasa Melayu untuk 27 tahun Dengan pengalaman kami yang luas Kami dapat mengagak lebih kurang Apa 
untuk diduga keluar dalam pemeriksaan dan ini apa yang kami lakukan untuk para pelajar untuk membuat ataupun membantu mereka bersedia ke arah persediaan pemeriksaan jika anda mahu bantuan seumpama ini anda boleh menghubungi kami malam semalam saya telah pun membuat bersama dengan pelajar saya lebih kurang 160 hingga 200 soalan dalam masa 3 jam Latihan ini sebenarnya telah pun membantu mereka Pelbagai topik telah pun dibincangkan Malah apa cuma persoalan yang mereka ada Dalam soalan mereka telah mengutarakan kepada saya Dan saya telah membantu untuk menerangkan kepada mereka Saya juga telah memberikan kepada mereka Satu senarai formula yang boleh mereka gunakan Bagi ulang kaji terakhir Mereka telah pun menggunakan formula tersebut Untuk membantu persediaan peperiksaan mereka jadi para pendengar, jika anda mahu bimbingan seumpama ini, sila hubungi pusat tuition rakan serta.